Hi Aries, so I thought you might want a love reading for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shuffle. So this is the Romance Angels. What do we have here coming in for Aries? What have we got here coming in for Aries? For love and relationships. Love and relationships, Aries. Flirt. <laughs> And playfulness, love yourself first, codependency. Okay. I get one more. Reconciliation. See what comes in for Aries for love and relationships. I'm gonna use my old deck, my the first deck I ever purchased because it's been used so many times and the energy is very strong. It's the one I use if I was to do a private reading, I use this deck. Um, so let's see what we get here for Aries. For love, please, angels, what are the messages for Aries for love and relationships? Cool. Breaking free. Liberation. New chapters. Eight of coin in the crossing. Perfection. Working. Ooh, the devil. A lot of control. Seven of swords. Okay, so in tarot, in astrology, swords are air. In tarot, swords are challenges. And air energy. So if you're to just read the tarot, this is somebody independently trying to avoid a situation where they feel like there's too much control or too much um, negativity. It could be lies, like somebody is lying or evading the truth. The moon here is something is hidden. Wow, your energy comes up Ten of Swords. You're feeling tired or very mentally drained. There's a lot here that you've been through um, that possibly was very stressful. What do we have for Aries Love and Relationships? Knight of Coin around you. Somebody who's loyal comes back around. King of Water is what you're wanting. You're wanting emotions and feelings and love, basically. Or um, you don't want lies and toxic energy here. Death card, okay. Scorpio, an ending or a change. There's a partnership coming in. Four of Wands, there's a partnership. You have to trust the universe here that something better is going to come in for you. Um, you could be in a relationship that is not so healthy. Page of Pentacles is coming in. Ace of Wands and the Emperor. Something is about power. It's going to make you feel better. Um, the Emperor in a love reading is someone who wants to be the boss. They want to be in control. Um, so... Underlying energy is manipulation or what is the death? Queen of Wands. So you're going to feel 
not Ten of Swords anymore. You're going to feel empowered, back to your old self. Um, magician, manifestation, manipulation of the environment, magical things happening. So what is the moon? Something you don't see. Four of Swords. Somebody's um, waiting for the perfect moment. Justice being served here. Legal matters. Balance coming into a situation. The moon. This is what you don't see. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of pain because of somebody's behavior. They're, they're being... Okay. Oh, wow. We got now the Ten of Cups. So we have the Justice and the Ten of Water. Something here is going to make you feel a lot better, happier, more empowered. Um, Ten of Swords is like, you feel ruined. Page of Cups comes in. Could be a new meth. Somebody's coming in if they feel like your heart is broken. They're coming towards you. Page of Pentacles, Page of, Bur Page of Cups. The death card is the outcome. Something changes. And you feel very empowered with the Queen of Wands. So, this Knight of Coin comes in. A loyal person. What is the Knight of Coin? Okay, the Star card and the Hanging Man. Somebody has decided that they are going to come forward. They've been thinking about it. And then they've decided that they're going to come forward. So what is the devil? Okay. There could be a situation here where you weren't so happy. Five of Cups, the devil, Seven of Swords. It did come out with the Six of Wands, though. So... I feel it will turn around. Why are we getting the moon? Okay. The moon is what you don't see. We have Page of Air and Ace of Air. So we have something here coming in. New information. What is the death? Okay. The death of the Four of Swords. So if somebody hasn't been speaking to you, this is going to turn around. Now, what is Four of Wands? The happy home, taking time off. Okay, the four of wands represent is represented by queen of water or queen of wands. What am I saying? Queen of wands, ten of cups. There's a lot of happiness here for you. Things are going to turn around. Nine of cups is on the bottom. A wish coming true, a wish that's fulfilled. Wow, with the lovers, a choice. And letting go of a situation with the devil behind it that's toxic. Letting go of a toxic situation that just makes you feel ruined. Like mentally drained, ruined, it's just too painful. So something here is going to change. The Knight of Earth is coming in with the Hanging Man and the Star. Somebody has been giving this a lot of thought. Um, and then they're deciding to give it a go or give it a try. So um, it could be a healing, somebody here who wants a fresh start with you, a healing. It could be the same person you're with is going to change. But the death represents a transformation, a phoenix rising from the ashes. You come up as queen of wands, confident, and the magician, feeling very empowered. So this looks like a return the card said a reconciliation here uh i'm not quite sure about that it's going to be different for everybody but i will leave it here thank you so much and take care